Thank you, thanks for the Zion Fall Arctic Eagle. We have some academic awards that need to be presented. The Indiana High School Hockey Association Academic All State Team honors senior hockey players who have shown achievement in the classroom as well as on the ice. Members must have maintained a B cumulative grade point average with a minimum combined score of 1050 on the SAT or 20 on the ACT. The player must also have participated in at least 10 varsity games as a senior. Tonight, we will honor seven such players that have met these qualifications. From Penn High School, Quinn Cookwood. From Indianapolis North Central High School, representing the Zionsville Arctic Eagles, Ethan Cox. From Colonial Christian School, representing the Zionsville Arctic Eagles, Silas Donovan. Zionsville High School, Jackson Herbal. From Heron High School, representing the Zionsville Arctic Eagles, Tyro Judd.
We have one final award to hand out. After a 49-year career, Roy Chen retired from officiating hockey games. His pupils were scattered throughout the Midwest, and yes, even in the NHL. Roy taught more than how to officiate. He coached the character of the official. Patience, alertness, lack of arrogance, and open communication are at the core of success as an official. Roy Chin was inducted into the Indiana High School Hockey Hall of Fame in 2002, and a year later received the Chet Stewart Award for Lifetime Achievement from USA Hockey. This award was established in 2009 to honor an Indiana hockey referee that most emulates Roy Chin's style. This year, we are giving the Roy Chin Award to a very deserving recipient. He is an official who has given a lot back to the officiating community throughout his career. Much like Roy, he started off at the grassroots level, and worked his way up through travel, high school, college, and minor pro hockey. He consistently sets an example on the ice and has given back to officiating through administrative work with the South Bend Hockey Officials Association, teaching new officials as a seminar instructor, serving as the long-standing USA Hockey Area Supervisor for South Bend, and even the USA Hockey State Supervisor for Indiana. This year's recipient is well-respected amongst referees across the state of Indiana and the Mid-Am District. He is constantly excellent on the ice, provides instruction and guidance off the ice, and fosters a true sense of community amongst the referees across the state. On behalf of the referees in Indiana and the Indiana High School Hockey Association, it is with great pride that we present the 2024 Roy Chin Award to Adam Fish. Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Icebox Rink 1 up here in South Bend, Indiana, for the start of the 4A State Tournament. We have your number two seed, the Zionsville Eagles, taking on the number seven seed, the Penn Kingsman, tonight. To start things off here, I'm Ryan Donovan, along with Steve Jug, bringing you the action. And we are just wanting to set the stage right now, as you saw before the game started they presented some nice awards four players on the Zionsville Eagles making the all-state academic team representing four different high schools for Zionsville included was Cairo Jug the alternate senior captain from Heron High School Silas Donovan the alternate captain from Colonial Christian School senior Ethan Cox representing North Central High School. And of course, senior Jackson Herbold, representing Zionsville School, all making the All-State academic team. So a nice honor for those four boys. Just to let you know what happened earlier in the game, or earlier in the day, number one, Culver, the number one seed, beat number eight, HSC, five to one. 
And number four, Evansville, defeated St. Joe 3-2 before this game. Of course, as I mentioned earlier, this is number two versus number seven. And then following this game will be number three, Carroll, versus number six, the Southwest Michigan Blades. This is a double elimination tournament for the first couple days. And then on Sunday, when the semis are established, it'll be single elimination. The Eagles, of course, came in here last year as the number eight seed and surprised a few teams, knocking off the number one team as well as the number four team before they were eventually defeated in the semis on Sunday versus Culver. We are two and a half minutes away from starting the drop of the buck. A little bit of a treat for me, my son, Robbie Donovan, who was the captain of this Zionsville team his junior and senior year and his senior year when they went to the 4A state championship is joining me in the booth. And Robbie, you got a chance to be at some of the practice here, uh, some of the practices in January and February. Tell me a little bit about what you see uh, about this team. Of course, struggling a little bit offensively, you had an opportunity to talk to them. What, what were some of the things you said? Yeah, I mean, I think they're a great team. I think they need to trust in themselves and each other. Um, definitely everything's heightened here. A lot of emotions going to be going on. Um, and I think one of the biggest pieces of advice I gave to them was to just stay even throughout the game. Give up, if they give up a couple goals early, they got to be willing to trust in each other, battle for each other. And yeah, play for the seniors, um, play for the guy next to you, and just work, work hard and leave everything out there. Um, these are games that these guys are going to remember. Um, five years from now, I remember moments from my time. Um, playing on the state tournament, so you want to leave everything out there and just play for the guy next to you. Five years ago, it was this 4A, uh, the, it was this Zionsville team that went to the 4A state tournament and advanced to the championship, where they were defeated by Culver two to one in a great matchup. And the Eagles led after two periods. Culver got the last two. A little bit of a challenge. The Eagles are coming off of two shutout losses to HSC and to Evansville, they, I'm sorry, HSC and Carmel, their last loss in the Hoosier League semis, losing one to nothing. How do they, how do they get their confidence back going into this tournament after uh, not having scored in six straight periods? Yeah, I mean, that's definitely not ideal going into this tournament. I think they've had 100 shots in the last two games. But, I mean, that hockey's like that. You got to... You gotta just keep working. You know that the odds are gonna go for them occasionally. They just gotta keep shooting the shooting the puck on net, get some chances, and go battle. That's all you can really do. But I think they believe in themselves. They had a great regular season. They went 11 and 0 in the crossover. Um, so they know that they can score. They know that they can um, put on a good show during this state tournament. Zionsville comes into this game at 32 and 10, and as I mentioned, dropping their last two games. Robbie, do you feel the goosebumps? Uh, do you remember what it was like uh, this weekend, obviously five years ago, just the the anticipation and the intensity? Yeah, I mean, yeah, like I said earlier, everything's heightened. Um, definitely some nerves going. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this is what you play for the whole season. This is what you work for every practice. It all comes down to this. So definitely a lot of nerves, and it's got to go battle out there. How important would an early goal be for these Eagles? Yeah, I think it would uh, – gain a lot of confidence for them and allow them to play their style better and play defensive. Huddles have broke from the net, and folks, we are about ready to get underway. Of course, Ben Highsmith, the head coach, in his fourth year as head coach, his seventh year with the club. Also, JT Turner, the assistant coach, his eighth year with the club. Craig Baranowski, the goalie coach, his second year with the club. And one of your old buddies that played on that State run five years ago. Shabby Alex Shabazz also on the bench. As his first year as an assistant coach. Huddles have broken, just a nice story. Number 21 of Penn, Joel Colquitt. Battling back after suffering from bone cancer and having some chemotherapy treatments. He's out there taking the face off against Silas Donovan. Certainly an inspiration to have him out here for the Penn Kingsmen, and we're underway, folks. As Joel Colquitt brings it in, takes a shot. Knocked away by Alec Molinaro, high of the net. Molinaro tries to get it out, and Penn comes back down. That's Colton Donzi. Donzi behind the net. 
battling. Sent out up to Lawer. And thrown in front. Now Quinn Colquitt with a shot in front and the pin. Kingsman score. A barrage of shots, 33 seconds in. And it's Colton Donzi off the rebound, putting it in, giving the Kingsman a 1-0 lead, not the start you were hoping for. A little bit of a wake-up call right now for the Eagles. Ben Highsmith did juggle some of the lines a little bit after uh, the offensive woes continued this past weekend. Battling in the corner there is Cairo Jug, and now Noah Farr brings it out. The junior gets it past Quinn Colquitt. And Quinn, by the way, got a nice award before the game for his academic and activity in the community. A nice honor given each year by Indiana High School Hockey. There's an icing as Noah Farb did not have the red line. So again, here's one of those moments, Robbie, that you talked about. If things don't go well early, you can't panic, have to stay level, and just get to work. Yeah, I think these next few minutes are important here. Get some good shifts in the offensive zone and work hard and get some four check going. Owen DeMoss and Silas Donovan will face off. Donovan out there with Alec Molinaro and Kane McClurg on offense. John Zach, the captain, the senior captain, and Luke Kirkpatrick, the sophomore out there on defense. John Zach brings it out, looking for a breakout pass to Donovan. DeMoss knocks it off his stick and then knocks him down. And right now, things going well for the Penn Kingsman, playing physical, keeping the puck, in the Eagles zone. Here's a breakout opportunity to Kane McClurg, but he can't keep it on, off on his stick. John Zach will get it deep, knocked down, and now McClurg tries to get to Donovan in front. Donovan was knocked off right before he could get wood on the stick, and John Zach sends it deep. We are two minutes in, the Kingsman with the early lead on Colton Donzi's rebound goal. Takes a hit and kept in. No, not quite kept in by Casey Schumacher, the, the junior. So again, Penn playing physical right now. Zionsville had to make the uh, two-hour drive. Penn, of course, their school is just five minutes away from this rink. So they are in their away black jerseys, being the lower seed number seven. And... Zionsville is the number two seed in their white jerseys. Ethan Cox trying to get it out. And now Zach Goggins will get it out, banks it off the wall, but he did not have the red line. This should have been an icing, but no call. Maybe it deflected off the pin stick. Now 22 knocks it out. That's Trevor Holt, and he gets it up ice to Ryan O'Connell. Cranenberg shot wide of the net by Blake Basil, and now Schumacher in the far corner will break out pass to Ethan Cox, looks up and finds Goggins, but he has it knocked off his stick from Cranenberg. Nice pass. Quick shot by the freshman, Charlie Farb, saved by number 31, Eli Shoemaker. Shoemaker in net for Penn, and of course Jackson Herbold in net for the Eagles. Herbold comes into this game 28 and 7 with a 1.5 goals against average, a 93% save percentage, and a 12, 12 shutouts on the year. Big reason why the Eagles are 32 and 10. And, and since the injury to senior Zach May back in November, Jackson Herbold has had to cover all the duties. Face off. One by Penn. Kept in, though, by Quinn Carey. Now, Austin Mateo up to Cairo Jug. Jug sends it down, and I think it went off a stick and up into the netting for a stoppage of play. 11.38 to go in the first period, no score. Again, this is first game of the 4A state tournament, which decides the true state champion, the top eight clubs based on their records, 
in my hockey standings play for the state championship in the 4A. Knocked away by Ryan Fleming. Nice play by the freshman. And breakout pass couldn't connect, though, and taken away by Amico. Now Quinn Carey looks up ice and a little beyond Noah Farb stick. And Shramsky will get it deep. Riley Shramsky did not play in the first game. These two teams met each other earlier on December 10th at the South Bend crossover. The Eagles defeated Penn 5-2 in that one. Brian Fleming gets it out to Quinn Carey off of his stick, and it'll go deep into the far corner back in the Penn zone. Brian O'Connell will play it. I'm sorry, that's Joe O'Donnell. Not to be confused with Ryan O'Connell. Here comes Amico. Amico will get it past John Zach, allowing his team for the change. Up ice off of the stick of Kane McClure. Too many. And they're going to call too many men. And I think it's going to be on pin. Yep. This will give Zionsville their first power play opportunity. Four and a half minutes into this one, they trail it 1-0. On the goal by... Colton Donzi just 33 seconds into this one and let's see if the Eagles can get something going offensively. Yeah, big opportunity here on the power play. You know they've been working on getting pucks in the net, looking for that open lane rather than trying to do too much work on the side wall. So see if they can do that, get some shots, and get that guy in front to try to deflect it and get a rebound. Alec Molinero joins the power play team and Penn was able to get it out. So the Eagles will set up. Austin Mateo over to Rex Willington to Silas Donovan. Silas brings it in, tries to set it up. He tries to go to mid-circles to Kane McClurg, and Alec Molinero was also there. Swung back around to the near boards. Donovan will handle it. He will give it over to John Zach, and it skips through to Rex Willington at the blue line. Willington looking to go over to Donovan, taken away by Clark, but Willington steps in front, and now Penn will clear Maybe a little too aggressive trying to skip that player looking for Donovan on the near wall, and Clark just took it away. Yeah, they've had some good looks going uh, through the ice on the power play, but they can't force it here. Penn just missed a shorthanded opportunity, and no call there as the stick was slashed out of Alec Molinero's hand. Quick shot by Rex Willington. And now another turnaround shot by Alec Molinero, and he scores. For Alec Molinero, his 11th goal of the season. And Kane McClurg will get his 13th assist. That was big. It was big to tie that game, and they took advantage of the power play right after Penn almost had a shorthanded goal that went off the post. Got through Jackson Herbal, but went off the post. Here we go, back the other way. Pulpit will get it deep, and they're going to call icing. I thought he had the red line, not quite. So it'll come all the way back down to the pin in the pin uh, or defensive zone. Point the swing that was when the two over hit the post, and then go the other way and get one. That's huge. Suddenly it's one to one. Quinn Carey out there with Austin Matteo, who joined the Noah Farb line. Jug and Schumacher back on defense. Here's Quinn Carey in the near corner, and Penn gets it back. Jug will send it back down. Six minutes into this one, we're tied at one apiece. An even strength goal by Penn, and the answer power play goal by Alec Molinero from Kane McClurg to tie this one. Hopefully that gives him some confidence. Finally got that goal. We wanted that goal five minutes in, and that's about exactly when we got it. Sent back down, but this is going to be an icing. Quinn Carey didn't quite have the red line, and with 8.36 to go, Puck will come all the way back down into the Eagles zone. Maybe the floodgates will open. They're not scoring. And, and hopefully, maybe the nerves are beginning to shake off a little bit. Is that what happens about six to seven minutes into the game? Yeah, I think so, especially getting that goal. I'll help them easy into it. Everybody's been out there. All the shifts have taken place. 
And now, here comes Spencer Krug back the other way. He's got Ethan Cox on his left. Still battling, Ethan Cox behind the net. He swings it back around to the far boards, and this one will be handled. Nice but knocked off the pick. Here's a play by Charlie Farb. He'll skate it around. I do not have a number 29. Number 29 is Lewis. He was not on the roster, at least the roster I had from earlier this year. Spencer Krug swings it over. Lewis takes it away, off the boards, and John Zach. Buck just bouncing it here in the neutral zone, and now Penn gets it deep. Easy stick save by Jackson Herbold back the other way. Penn up ice, and now Caden Smith will get it deep and get off the ice for some fresh legs for Penn. Ethan Cox here on the near wall. Crack Cranenberg battling. He's joined by Ryan O'Connell. Cranenberg racked the round. He was looking right in front there for Lewis. Right on top of the crease. They couldn't quite connect for a shot on goal. Back the other way comes Spencer Krug. He'll gain the red line and try to get it deep for fresh legs for Zionsville. 7-15, we are halfway through the first period. Really solid shift by Krug there. Trevor Hull tries to get it deep, taken away by Rex Wellington. He gets it back. Stick saved by Herbel. Donna, or Schumacher tried to get it up ice to McClurg. And Rex Willington now with a nice play. Bounces off, and McClurg going after it. But Penn will get there first, and O'Connell tries to get it deep. McClurg gets back behind the blue line. Takes a shot wide of the net. Now McClurg tries to backhand a bouncing puck unsuccessfully and puts it over to the far wall where Donovan chases it down. Donovan tries to center it. He had Molinero at the top of the crease, but nice Molinero pitch. was occupied. Now Molinero tries to center it. He was looking for McClure. Back the other way by Quinn Colquitt. Comes back in and Schumacher knocks it away from him. McClure will swing it to the far wall where Shramsky is waiting for Penn. Penn in the corner. Being patient right in front to Shramsky. Now Shramsky taken away by Donovan. McClurg will get it deep and take a hit from LeWare. Limeropoulos now back to the far boards. Pinched by Noah Farb, but bouncing puck, and it's going to be out of play, I believe. Maybe bounced off of somebody off the bench. Yeah, I believe so. Under six to play here, one to one. With 5.52 to go. Yeah, I think guys have got to be careful in their own zone with the forwards, finals. You really need to be down there to support rather than try to get that on that break. A little anxious to get out of the zone and back the other way, but I tell you, Penn's playing pretty aggressive right now. There's a quick shot by Matteo, save by Shoemaker, and we'll drop it again. Noah Farb, the junior. Faces off against Tomiko. Face off one by far, but Penn steps in to try to take it away. Here's Quinn Carey. He takes a shot. Nice block there by number 14, Limberopolis. Now a quick shot by Fleming just wide of the net. Here's Noah Farr. Up to Cairo Jug. We'll send it back down. Backhanded out by Henry Gillen. And back the other way comes Joe O'Donnell. And did they call offsides there? I believe they might have. I'm not sure. 5.24 to go in the first period. This time, Donovan will center the line with Krug and Klein. Back the other way. Jeremy Klein, the sophomore, gets it past. Then Blake Basil. Donovan on the near wall here. Tries to go up to Wollington. Wollington backtracks, goes over to Kirkpatrick. Luke gets it up and off the stick of Blake Basil. Five minutes to play here in the first period. We're tied at one goal apiece. Penn gets it out. Wollington will swing back around and send it. Stopped by Shoemaker behind his own net. Kirkpatrick will send it back down. Basil will lift this one out. And Rex Wollington will go get it. And now there's going to be a tripping call 
looks like an interference. Interference call. And we'll see, is this on Luke Kirkpatrick? So a man advantage this time will come to the Penn Kingsman with 4.37 to go in the first period. They'll have their first man advantage as Luke Kirkpatrick gets the two minute minor for interference. Farb and Molinero out there to kill with Jug and Woolington. Up ice, up to the blue line. Nice save by Herbal. Up to Lawer. Lawer whiffs on the shot. Now gets it to Yuchik. Yuchik now will backhand it and cycle it back down to Brooks Clark. Clark patiently goes back up to Owen DeMoss. Back to Clark, to DeMoss. He takes a shot with a little bit of traffic in front, but gloved nicely by Jackson Herbal. A little extracurricular after the fact. And we'll drop it now, this time to Jackson Herbold's left. Noah Farb and Brooks Clark on the faceoff. Faceoff to the side, handled by the Eagles, but taken away by Uchik. Uchik now tries to go between the circles, knocked away there. And now handled by Drew Laware. He goes over to Brooks Clark. He gets three, Clark in front. Shoots and saved by Herbal. Boy, just a little breakdown there. Almost it resulted in a power play goal. Yeah, pretty good breakdown there by the break in. Donovan and McClurk will replace Farb and Molinero. And Rex Willington will stay out. Schumacher replaces Jug. Nice, nice hustle by Kane McClurg. He sweeps back around, looking for Donovan in front, but taken away by Joel Colquitt. Back the other way comes number 21. He takes a shot off the shin pad of Schumacher and all the way down to the end of the ice. Lawyer and Donovan will give it chase. Lawyer battling Donovan. Donovan trying to take up some time on the kill. 45 seconds left on the power play. And now back the other way comes Smith for Penn. Skates in and he'll try to set it up. No, he'll take a shot, get it low. Schumacher back over, Smith gets it in the near corner. To Uchik, now up to Trevor Hull at the blue line. Across ice to Joel Colquitt, who goes back to Smith, cross ice. Nice job, Casey. Under three to play, 20 seconds left in the power play as the Eagles are able to clear. Now Donovan takes it away in the neutral zone. Might have a shorthanded opportunity. Quick shot, but a nice save by Shoemaker. Donovan with a quick release. That putt got on Shoemaker quickly, and that'll pretty much do it for the man advantage. Three seconds. Knocked away by Cairo Jug off of Trevor Hole. Nice play by Jug, and now we're at even strength as Jug sends it across to Fleming. Fleming will send it, and this icing is waved off. Wow. Shoemaker settles it down. They have a Shoemaker, we have a Schumacher. Jug over to Molinero. Molinero gets it to Farb. Farb skates in, goes across, he draws the penalty. And it's going to be a hook on Penn and another man advantage with 2.11 for the Eagles. Let's see if they can cash in right before the break. What a play by Farb there. Kind of burst his speed, use his skills to his advantage there. Let's see if we can get another power play goal. I like the aggressive penalty kill a lot. Times it can burn you and it can be an easy zone entry for them, but I like the offensive opportunity there. Eagles have been doing it all year with that power, with that penalty kill, being able to get several shorthanded goals. This time it's Farb, Quinn Carey, Ethan Cox, Austin Matteo, and Rex Woolington. The Kingsmen clear it down the length of the ice where Austin Matteo runs it down. Good speed now by Matteo, the junior. Comes off of his stick. And now taken away by Ethan Cox. He shoots just high. Comes back away. And Ethan, or Quinn Carey got another shot at it. Knocked off to the far boards. Rex Willington will gather. Power play again for the Eagles. Here's Noah Farb. Farb has it looking across ice. And the whistle blew. And I'm not sure why. That was off. I think it went, the puck went up into the netting behind the... Oh, okay. The puck lifted into the netting. I thought it came down before that. 
When carry across, he was looking for Woolington, but taken away by Brooks Clark. He lifts it into the zone of the Eagles. And now, Owen DeMoss will send it back. Mateo looks up, ice beyond Ethan Cox. And no icing on that. They are not calling icing, are they? Limberopoulos with the puck. Now DeMoss battling on the far boards. Brooks Clark will send it down. And I think we'll get some fresh legs out on the ice with 55 seconds to go here in the power play. DeMoss, good kill by DeMoss. He's been everywhere in this first minute and 10 of this penalty kill for the Pens. Molinaro will backhand it deep. Noah Farb is down there. Farb tries to get it to McClure. McClurg still battling behind the net. Swung back around nicely by Drew LaWare to clear it with 44 seconds to go. Donovan will, will replace Farb with 30 seconds left in the power play. Here comes the captain, John Zach. He will drop it for McClurg who skates it in and will try to set it up for 30 seconds left in this period. 18 seconds in the power play. Comes off a jug stick and that is Caden Smith able to clear. 20 seconds left in the period. Here comes John Zach, the captain. Gains the red line, he'll shoot off of Lewis and up into the netting. And that, because it was off pin stick, should be a should be a face off in the pin defensive zone. And they've had some great zone entries. They just can't seem to get it set up here on this second power play. Nicely, uh, thankfully for the Eagles, the two seconds remains. So they're gonna be able to, if they win this faceoff, set the power play up with 13 seconds left in the period. Let's see if Donovan can win the faceoff. He does. Over to John Zach, who goes back down to Donovan, but they were not on the same page, and that'll clear it. Should be an icing, though, because the power play had ended. So with 4.6 seconds to go, the Eagles will have one more drop of the puck before the period break. Luke Kirkpatrick will replace Rex Wollington. Face off at the feet, two seconds to go, and that'll do it. After one period of play, we find ourselves deadlocked one to one on the even strength goal by Colton Donzi of the Penn Kingsman, just 33 seconds in. And then Alec Molinaro on the power play goal from Kane McClurg. Molinaro's 11th of the year tied this game at one apiece. And that's where we stand. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to second period of action up here at the Ice Box in South Bend between the Eagles, number two seed, against the Penn Kingsman, the number seven seed. I'm Ryan Donovan along with Steve Jug. Also joining us, Robbie Donovan, who five years ago was captain of this team his junior and senior year. Joining us for the broadcast, Eagles. At even strength to start, here's Joel Colquitt. He finds Donzi, who got the first goal nicely taken away by Luke Kirkpatrick. Molinaro will chase it down deep in the Eagle zone. He goes to the far boards, and now they try to break it out. But quick shot, oh, almost a redirect by Donzi. He almost had goal number two of the night. Lewer keeps it in. Back down to the Far corner. Swung around to the other side. Battling, can't really tell what's going on there. Now John Zach will backhand it. Penn has it, they try to center it. And now Lewis steps in, shoots it wide of the net, and Kirkpatrick will swing it about around to the near boards where McClurg 
will backhand it up to Molinero, jumps his stick, and taken away by Drew LeWare. LeWare back the other way, Lewis, and now DeMoss with it. Bouncing puck, and now Donovan has it. Over to uh, Wollington, Wollington to John Zach. Quinn Carey now skates it in. DeMoss takes it away and goes to Caden Smith. Here comes Smith, he'll drop it, but only an eagle was there to take it. Wollington to the far boards. LeWare plays it for the for Penn. Now Noah Favre with the puck. He'll skate it in, he's got some time. He'll drop it to Kent Quinn Carey. Carey will keep it deep, swings it all the way around to the far boards. Schumacher backhands it deep. Now Noah Farb in the corner. Farb takes the hit from DeWare, uh, from Loware. Nice pinch, Schumacher. And now kept in by Willington, who takes a shot, knocked down by the pin defenseman. Noah Farb in the near corner. Skates it around, he tries to center oh. it. A little bit of a wraparound went right through the crease and just wide of the post. Knocked down deep and no icing call. Now they're gonna call a high stick on Zionsville. I thought it should have been an icing. I'm not sure how you get a high stick out of that on Zionsville. Yeah, I didn't see that. Anyways, good shift though for that second line. I still think that first line for Zionsville can do a better job at supporting down low than the defenseman. Um, it looked like the second half of that shift they did a better job, but they're still getting caught pretty high. 12-22 here in the second period. We're tied at one apiece. Cairo Jug battles and fights for that puck and gets it. Swings it to the near boards to Ethan Cox. Cox was looking for Farb on the breakout pass. Gets it back over to Jug. Now back to Fleming. Fleming lifts it and take it away by Penn. Not able to get it out though, now they are. As Juchik lifted Ethan Cox's stick. And now an offsides call three minutes into the second period. There have been a few scoring opportunities, but really not a lot of scoring opportunities thus far. I'd like to see the Eagles get a little more pressure in front of the net. O'Connell gets it deep for Penn. Charlie Farb comes out with it. Breakout now from Cox. He was looking for Goggins. They didn't connect. And now Ryan O'Connell centers it. And another... Nice little play there by Penn. Great positioning there for Verbal. It's a good opportunity, but he didn't really pay the money. Connor Cranenberg did not get a lot of wood on the backhand opportunity. And as you said, Herbold was right there to stop it. This time, Kane McClurg will center the K brothers. Jeremy Klein and Spencer Crew out there with John Zach and Rex. No, I'm sorry, Luke Kirkpatrick. Coach Craig Brown of Penn calling over the official. Wanting to talk to him a little bit. See if times we can do a better job in their own zone. They've been a little sloppy at times. In front and going to be gloved there by Jackson Herbal. 11 27 to play here in the second period. Looks like McClurk centering that centering that wood line on this shift. Silas with the Donovan. McClurk. Jeremy Klein steps in. He's got the puck. He gets it out to McClure. And Spencer Krug with it now. He'll take it in. Krug takes a shot. And Shoemaker was there for the save. Like what Krug's bringing to the team today. It's been good. First period had a really good play. And bringing some energy here to this fourth line. Spencer Krug, the sophomore. He'll check off as Donovan comes out with Farb and Bowling. We haven't seen this combination yet. Face off one by the Kings, Kingsmen, and they're able to get it out. John Zach lifts it, taken away by the Kingsmen. And now Toby Bowling fights for it and skates out with it. He gains the red line and he'll get it deep. Swing it to the near board. Noah Farr bounces up to John Zach at the blue line. He'll go across to Rex Willington, but he had a man on him. And now Noah Farb in the corner, trying to cycle it to Donovan behind the net. Rex Willington with a nice pinch, gets tripped up, 
Tried to center it to Donovan just at the top of the crease. Here comes Amico back for the Kingsman. Enters the zone, takes a nice hit from Rex Willington. And Noah Farb swings it to the near boards. Ten and a half to play here in the second. We're tied at one apiece. John Zach up ice to Noah Farb. Here comes Farb. Tries to get around. Still has it on his stick. Keeping it. Now toe drags it, gets around one Kingsman. Bowling was reaching for it to help. And now Blake Basil gets it out. And Jug will run it down for the Eagles. Off the boards, he was looking for Donovan, just beyond his stick. And now Schumacher will send it in. And because it was on net, the goalie had to play it. And Donovan was still below the blue line. So this will come all the way down. Really good shit from Rex Warrington there. Great pitch on that side wall, throwing it to the net. And they come it back hard and get a nice hit on defense. He likes to play aggressive, and if he calculates it right, it's a really valuable thing to see. Colquitt wins the faceoff against McClurg. Loware tries to go back down to him, and McClurg takes it away. McClurg's out there with Quinn Carey and Molinaro, and now Molinaro takes it back. He'll get it towards easy pad save for Shoemaker, and now Quinn Carey will get it. And Donzi with the puck for the Kingsman. Up to Joe Colquitt. Colquitt stops. Now taken away here on the near boards. Brooks Clark down there battling. Quinn Carey with it. He'll backhand it looking for McClurg. McClurg takes a hit from LeWare. And now Molinaro with the puck trying to go to McClurg. Knocked away by the Kingsman. Knocked down by McClurg with a high stick so the whistle will blow. Nine minutes to play here in the second. Looks like Ben Highsmith really uh, juggling the lines up. We've seen a lot of different combinations here in the second period. Charlie Farb will check on, the freshman, along with Austin Mateo and Ethan Cox. Nine to play here. Face-off will take place to Jackson Herbold's right deep in the Kingsman zone. Face-off, it looks like won by the Kingsman. Dragged to the ground is John Zach, and now skating it out is Rex Wollington. Three on two developing. Good shot off the pad of Shoemaker. It's a good rebound in front, but... And now Wollington able to keep it in. He'll take another shot. This one will be gloved by Shoemaker with 8.40 to go. Yeah, great shot there by Rex. They've been working on that in practice, shooting low, having guys crash. And uh, yeah, it was, looks like the defenseman cleared that that second guy coming in hard, but it's good to see the guys crashing out like that, get some shots on net. DeMoss will face off against Charlie Farr. Face off one by Farr, back to John Zach, and it's knocked down by the Kingsman. Zach able to put it back into the Kingsman zone, into the corner. Ethan Cox will give it chase. Knocked out by the Kingsman, and now Lewis gets it out. Wellington tried to send it back in. It went off of a Kingsman, and now they send it back deep into the Eagle zone with 8.18 to play. John Zach bounces it off the far wall. Kingsman send it back down. Waiting for it is Lewis. Lewis will cycle the puck. John Zach now steps in as Charlie Farb trying to get it out. Nice little move there, and quick shot across the crease. Now a quick shot, pad saved by Herbal. Little battle there behind the net. Now a glove save by Herbold as Basil shot hard off the near wall. And Jackson Herbold was able to track it. It's good to see uh, Charlie Farr go down low and support the defenseman there. It's a good shift, helping out defensively. Really looks like right now, Ben Heisman trying to use the depth of his team right now. Maybe a little bit of uh, car legs there and trying to keep him fresh for this last half of this game as we're almost halfway through the second period. Trying to keep this team fresh. We're tied at one apiece. Schumacher looks up ice, looking for Klein. Klein looks for Krug. Krug tries to get it deep, but whiffs on it. And now O'Connell for the Kingsman. Noah nice Farr right to Krug. Right. Here comes Krug. Come Quick Come shot on. wide of the net. He was looking for far side. Ryan O'Connell tries to get it out. Nice play by Jug to put it right back in. Now they're able to get it out. Uchik 
tries to go deep. Favre takes it away. But they bump into each other and back. Here comes Cranenberg. Cranenberg has it go off his stick. O'Connell comes back in, tries to backhand towards the net. But the white jerseys were there. Here's Noah Favre. Has it come off his stick. And Quinn Coquit sends it back down. Noah Favre will backhand it deep and get off the ice. Lawyer down there for the Kingsman. Ryan O'Connell with it in the corner. Tries to get it out, and it does jump Luke Kirkpatrick's stick. Kirkpatrick in the neutral zone. Over to Zach. Back to Kirkpatrick. Kirkpatrick looks up ice in the center, looking for Molinaro, who goes right to McClure. McClure with a shot. Wide of the net. Donovan. Tried to challenge it over there. Johnson caught. Now Lawyer will try to get it out, and does pass John Zach. This will not be an icing as it deflected up. Shouldn't have been an icing. Deflected right off John Zach. But that time, they weren't calling him earlier. Now they called one that shouldn't have been called. Again, I, right, I was going to say again, I think uh, the forwards are doing a way better job these last few shifts at helping out down low. Noah Farm, two different instances on the last shift helping out. They just need to get maybe a little more pressure on the offensive side of things. But they're getting puck steep, which is really good to see. Donovan on the near wall will get it deep. Cycles back around, looking for McClure. Penn tries to get it out. There's Molinaro on the far wall. He's battling uh, Riley Shramsky over there. John Zach trying to support him, and Penn's able to get it out. Under six to play here in the second. There's been no score in the second. We were tied one apiece after the first. Way to battle by John. Molinaro, back the other way. Takes a shot, stick saved by Shoemaker. Drops it for Limberopolis. Limberopolis over to Shramsky. Sent back down by Kirkpatrick as the Eagles tag up. Limberopolis now with it for the Kingsmen with five and a half to go in the second. Back the other way comes Amico with some speed. Knocked away nicely by Rex Wellington. Bouncing puck, Donovan has it. Now gets it to McClurg. McClurg backhands looking for Molinaro. Good look by McClurg on the breakout. McClurg now over to Molinaro. Molinaro shoots a tough angled shot off the pad. McClurg now up to the point. Wollington takes a shot off the stick of Shoemaker and then he'll drag it back in Give it to stop the play. There. We need to have somebody run on that spot. Yeah. He nice is to get a little bit of a screen there, but good job finding that lane and shooting it low. Looking for a rebound or a deflection out in front. Maybe a little more traffic in front of the net. You know, Shoemaker's given up some decent-sized rebounds. Yeah, we is. just haven't had any players there. Need to get some net front presence there. Favre wins it to Carey. Carey will cycle it back down. Oh. Now, centering opportunity as Favre was looking for Quinn Carey. And Wollington will get it. Over to Schumacher. Off of Carey's stick. Quinn Carey takes it away, gets it deep. McTeo battling down there against Trevor Hull. Brooks Clark now on the far boards for Penn. Four and a half to play here in the second. Matteo tried to step in and take it away. Penn gets it deep. Willington back over to his line mate Schumacher. Basil. Tries to center it, and it looks like Jackson Herbold has it, and he'll stop play with 4.07 to go. They've had more time in the zone, but I'd like to see some more sustained pressure so they could get some more opportunities down low. Noah Farb, no, Charlie Farb will come out and replace his brother, so Charlie will take the face off, along with Ethan Cox. And Zach Goggins, the senior. Goggins chips oh. it out, and Charlie runs after it. Brooks, um, Brooks Basel will beat him to it. And this one is out, should be an icing as it goes to the left of Jackson Herbert. Really good hustle and, play there by Charlie getting on it. Forcing that icing call. I'm not even sure it's fair to call anybody a freshman this late in the season. Everybody doesn't play like one. Yeah, get, everyone's getting uh, Ryan Fleming and Charlie Farb, the only two freshmen on this team, and they're becoming seasoned veterans. have gotten a lot of ice time as freshmen, and they've earned it. 
Owen DeMoss will face off against Farr. To Shoemaker's right here in the Kingsman zone. Linesman will push back. Smith and Cox. Smith now with it. Looks for a breakout to Lewis. Lewis just couldn't, he could not get over that blue line quick enough and caused Owen DeMoss to go off sides. Duggan Fleming will head to the bench for Kirkpatrick and John Zach. And now McClure, Donovan, and Molinero will come out as forwards. 342, Donovan tries to win it forward. Did for a while, but then had it knocked away. Molinero will get it deep. This is off the stick of Shoemaker. McClure centers it, looking for Molinero, but he just couldn't gather it. And Smith gets it out for the Kingsman. Kirkpatrick gets it to McClurg, who goes up to Donovan. Donovan around LeWare, but LeWare knocks it away. And it's able to get cleared beyond the blue line, so Donovan will tag up. 3.12 to go in the period. Banks it off the wall. Molinero will get it back deep, looking for McClurg. McClurg has LeWare on his back. LeWare gets the puck, goes over to Lewis. Nice pressure. McClurg looking for Donovan, but it was up at his waist. Donovan tried to knock it down. Here's Molinero, quick shot. And a stoppage of play. We'll see what happens. Molinero and Drew LeWare with a little shoving after the action. Not sure why the whistle blew. Yeah, was there a belly call? I don't, I don't know why that was blown down. The linesman is kind of working with the net. I'm not sure if that's the reason for the call. I like to see Zions will get some better opportunities there. I still think they can use two guys on the puck at all times in that offensive zone, at least when they're battling. Linesman working with the net. I was watching the game previous to this one, and that came that net came off a lot down there. Lawyer tries to get it out, kept in by John Zach. McClurg on the far wall. Brandenburg knocks it off his stick and now lifted. But McClurg gets it back, quick shot higher than that. Nice pinch by Kirkpatrick. He's battling Uchik. Molinero joins at the feet of Uchik. Now Molinero comes out with it. Stick save by Shoemaker. Bouncing puck. There's a puck support right there. John Zach with it. As Donovan tries to take his place up near the blue line while the defenseman, the captain, comes in. Nice play by McCoy. He takes a shot, bounces off Loware. And now at the back oh. of the net, right in front, Donovan with a rebound shot. Oh my gosh, another one. Rex Willington shoots wide oh of the net. Oh my goodness. Another shot just wide of the net. Good, Good opportunity, but they just could not bury it there. Donovan had a shot. Willington had a shot. McClurg had a shot. We're still tied at 1 1 with 1.50 to go. Those are the opportunities they're looking for. Got to bury right in Shoemaker's kitchen. Farb, Krug, and Matteo out there, along with Willington and Schumacher. 150 to play here in the second. We're tied at 1-1. Both goals coming in the first period. Schumacher goes back to Matteo. Matteo takes it in, and now Penn's able to clear. Willington with the puck. Bounces off the back wall. I like to see that pressure. Limberopoulos battling there with Schumacher. I'm sorry, that's... That was crew. Kingsman are able to get it out. Now knocked off of Schumacher's stick. And handled by Amico. Amico tries to get it deep. Joe O'Donnell back there. O'Donnell with the puck in the corner. Sends it back deep for cycling. Now Farb steps in, takes it away. Matteo backhands it out. And this will be no icing. Gillen goes back to get it. Kirk pushes him off the puck. Farb is there. Oh. 
Penn tries to get it out and successfully does so. John Zach sends it right back down, settled down by Shoemaker. Donovan knocks it down. Puck in the corner to Molinero. Molinero back up to Judd. Judd back down to Molinero. Molinero tries to center. Looking for Donovan on the sauce pass. Now a backhand. High stick. Donovan shoots. Yeah, baby. He scores. Yeah, they baby. counted it. I thought they were going to call a high stick. But John Zach knocked it down and got to Silas Donovan. And the Eagles go up 2-1. to one. 18 seconds left in the period, too. Another great shift there from Zion. So they've really turned up the pressure on the last few shifts, and they're rewarded right before the end of the period. That's huge going into the third. His 27th of the year, Silas Donovan puts it home with 18 seconds to go and a little momentum going to the locker room. Donovan wins it forward. And what a heads-up play by John Zach on that puck to knock it down and then get it across to Donovan for the goal. Knocked down by John Zach. Four seconds, three seconds. This will be an icing, so we'll not quite go to the break. There will be an ice cut. Both teams will go to the locker room, and we'll take about a 10-minute break and be back with third period of action. But a late goal here in the second from Silas Donovan, from his captain, John Zach. Give the Eagles a 2-1 lead. Face off, won by the Eagles, and that'll do it. So we've got 15 minutes left to play in this round one of the 4A state tournament between number two, Zionsville Eagles, and the Penn Kingsman, number seven. They head to the locker rooms and we'll be back with third period of action. The Eagles lead it two to one.
Welcome back to the Ice Box for third period of action between the Zionsville Eagles and the Penn Kingsmen. Zionsville leads it two to one. And Robbie, talk a little bit. This is Ryan Donovan along with Steve Jug. My son Robbie Donovan also in the booth with us. Robbie, talk a little bit about just what Ben Highsmith may have, how he may have addressed the team after getting that late goal in the second period to take the 2-1 lead. Yeah, I think it's really important here. He probably mentioned that uh, they get pucks deep and they continue that pressure that they ended with in the second period. I think the best defense is good offense. And, you know, they can't have three guys, you know, caught low, but they also need to still keep that that pressure on, keep that four check going, get another goal. I don't think they want to rest on the fact that two goals is enough. It might be with their goaltender and their good defense, but they need to play to sustain that pressure. And uh, yeah. Seemed like we owned the zone time a little bit towards the end of that second period. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, they definitely had the momentum late in that second period. And thankfully they got rewarded with a late goal, but they could not come out here and just be playing a defensive game. They need to play up to still some offense. Rich Wellington backhands it deep into the Kingsman zone, and the third period is underway. Bounces off the wall, and McClurk tries to get it, and now LaWare is able to get it out for Penn. John Zach looks up ice, and Brooks Clark gets it deep for the Kingsman. Rex Wellington to the near boards, kept in by Quinn Coquit. Stick saved by Jackson Herbold as that one got all the way through. Molinero chips it past and goes after it. No icing on the call. Good hustle by LaWare to get back there. And now kept in by Cairo Jug. Sends it to the net and a rebound opportunity. Now a centering opportunity by Molinero. And it just comes out across the blue line. John Zach will send it back as the Eagles tag up. LaWare is there waiting for Penn. Jug sends it to the net, deflected off of Quinn Colquitt. Donovan backhands it towards the net. Gets it back. And now knocked off his stick and across the blue line. Jug will send it back down as a fresh set of legs gets on the ice for the Eagles. Great first shift there. Quinn Carey just beyond the blue line. And here comes a three on two. Peyton Smith will get it deep for the Kingsman. Chipped off the, off, off the uh, near boards to Quinn Carey. He takes a shot. It gets through. Saved by Shoemaker. Donzi backhands it out. And this one will be run down by John Zach. John Zach over to his line mate, Casey Schumacher. Schumacher up to Matteo. Taken away by Smith. Smith now whiffs on a backhand. Trying to keep it deep. Shoots it higher than that. Numberopolis doesn't get good wood off. Go, go, and go, it's go. cleared. DeMoss now. John Zach takes it. And Quinn Carey will get it deep. Played by Matteo. Now knocked out. DeMoss back the other way. Two on one. Beautiful defensive play by the captain as he knocks it away. Off the boards and played by Luke Kirkpatrick. Across to Zach Goggins. Goggins skates it to the neutral zone, gains the red line, and gets it deep. Shoemaker plays it. Good hustle by Noah Farb. He's got an opportunity. Backhands it saved by Shoemaker. And we got a player hurt down on the ice behind the net. And it looks to be Zach Goggins in some pain there behind the net. Stoppage of play, and he's hurting. So with 12.17 to go here in the third period, Coach Highsmith onto the ice to go check out his player. Zach Goggins, a very tough player, doesn't stay down unless he's really in some pain. Ethan Cox and John Zach around their teammate. I didn't see what happened, Steve, did you? No, it was... Look like you got up and I'm hoping it's not a column though. You think it's an upper body? It looked like it might be. So with 12.17 to go in the game, an injury timeout for the Eagles as Zach Goggins, the senior, is down. And uh, we will now have the trainer escorted by the referee on the ice as he's coming out to take a look at Goggins. We will take a quick break and be back with you.
Zach Goggins, a rather lengthy injury timeout there. Good to see him get up and uh, be escorted off the ice, but he's obviously probably done for the weekend. Looks to be a lower body, perhaps his right knee. We'll give you an update if we get one before the, end of the broadcast. But we are back under action here as we will face off just outside of the pin zone. Face off one by Donovan. John Zach gets it deep. Knocked down by Basil. Basil sends it to Uchik on the far wall. Puck bouncing around, looking for McClure just beyond his stick. He'll go to work there with Basil. Gets it from him. Centering pass, looking for Donovan. Donovan still has it. Backhands it towards oh. McClurg, but knocked away by the Kingsman. Good defensive stick down there. Rex Wollington. John Zach with it to Molinero for the breakout. Looks for McClurg. McClurg has it knocked off his stick. Donovan's there. Donovan has it knocked to the far wall. Sends it towards the net. Save. There's McClurg with a deflection after Shoemaker saved Donovan's backhand. Well, other than that injury, I think this is about as good as it could have gone for Zines to start this third period. They look to have the energy and be looking for that two-goal lead. And uh, the only thing they got to be careful about is not giving up an on-man rush. They did give up that two-on-one earlier, but John did a really good job getting that stick in there and break that one up. But they can't, can't be overly aggressive when it comes to the defense, that's for sure, with the one goal in the third. John Zach sends it to the near wall, kept in, and now off of Alec Molinero's glove, he tries to get it up to McClure. McClure will go chase it. Lawyer will get there first. Lawyer for Penn. Up the near boards, and he still has it. Skates it in. Lawyer comes back around. Now Wollington sends it to the near boards. Shramsky gets it back down to Amico. Donovan swings it to the far boards. Lawyer is there on the pinch. Wollington will reverse action, go behind his own net, and go to John Zach. Zach lifts it to Molinero. Molinero gets it out. But McClurg was changing. And now there seems to be a whistle. They hit the uh, padding of that post over there. But okay. Out of play. Stoppage in play. Hit the padding just above the half wall just where the glass stops. And the ref saw it and blew it dead. We're gonna face off at the center of the ice. Noah Farb and Joe Colquitt. A rather lengthy shift there on that last year for times, so they can't, you don't wanna see that. You don't want your guys to be out there calling the defensive zone like that. Battling on the far boards there. Knocked away, Limberopolis goes to Brooks Clark. To Colquitt, Colquitt shoots, saved by Herbal. That would have lit the crowd up. A lot of Penn fans here. And as we mentioned, Joel Colquitt. Puck in front. Here's Lindoropoulos shot and sends it to the ceiling. We mentioned earlier, Joel Colquitt back after a battle with cancer. And just an inspiration to be on the ice. And he just about got the equalizer on that shift. Quite the answer from Penn here in that last shift. Really good shift there for this. Charlie Farb wins it to Jug. Ten minutes to play in the game. Eagles lead it two to one. On the late goal by Silas Donovan from Kane McClurg in the second period. John Zach gains the red line, sends it deep, just high of the crossbar. Ethan Cox comes in and keeps it deep. Ethan Cox's long stick. Here comes Charlie Farb. Knocked out, and I believe that got across the blue line, but good hustle by Luke Kirkpatrick to get it back, and Ethan Cox We'll backhand it low with 9.15 to go here in the third period. Over to Donzi. He's got the single goal by Penn today. Early 33 seconds into the first period. Donzi with a puck. Skates it in. And looked like Penn was changing. Smith with a shot off the rebound. Saved by Herbold. John Zach gets it to Molinero. Molinero gathers it. Gets it deep. It'll be played by the stick of Shoemaker on the save. Knocked down by McClure. 
up ice, and this is not going to be icing. It went off John Zach. Rex Willington sent it off the near boards. Donovan with the puck. He goes to the neutral zone. He's knocked off the puck by DeMoss on a good physical play. McClure gets it back. He's looking across ice. Rex Willington with it. He'll take a shot. Fluttering puck. Just to the right. Was in traffic. McClure in front. John Zach goes to the half wall to Donovan. Donovan shoots. A deflection by Molinaro. Saved by Shoemaker. Good traffic in front of the net. Trailing number two, two to one. Donovan with the face off. Brandenburg gathers it for Penn. Kept in by John Zach. Keeps it in again. Now Donovan battling in front of the net, but it squirts off. He was in a good battle there with Basil, but it squirted towards Shoemaker, who tied it up with 8.02 to go. They're going to keep that line out there. Maybe I'd love for to see them going for that third goal here in that two goal lead. Seems to be a sense of urgency. They want that two goal lead. Backhand in front. Molinero was knocked down in the crease. And the whistle blew. I'm liking McClurk's play behind the net. He's really centered a lot of passes in front of the crease. Yeah, this whole line's been working really hard here in the third period. Donovan, no, Shramsky steps in for Penn, over to Joe O'Donnell. O'Donnell with the puck, in the far corner. He gets a stick to the face by Rex Willington, and Willington was just trying to check him, but did get the stick up there, into the face. And that's gonna be a two minute minor high stick by Rex Willington against Joe O'Donnell. And with just about halfway through the third period, give the man advantage to Penn. They win the faceoff. Back to Joel Colquitt. John Zach clears it. Lawyer steps in. Farb after getting that now. Lawyer with a nice move to get around John Zach. He comes around behind the net. Knocked away by Jug. Jug battling in the corner against Juchik. Jug without a stick but doing some damage with his feet. Now Clark goes up to Joe Colquitt. Back over to Juchik, who went off the post. That was a nice one-timer by Juchik. Jug gets off the ice. Good hustle by Noah Farm. He spins and fires. A blocker save by Shoemaker. Excellent hustle by Farb, who now gets off, replaced by Donovan. McClurg came in for Molinero. Here's Joe Colquitt back the other way. Good back check, back check by McClurg, and he gets it out. No, kept in by Lawyer. Now he'll bring it back out. Uchik now. Over to Lewis. Lewis backhands it over, and saved by Herbal. Keeps it deep, Schumacher in the corner. He tries to get it out, Lawyer saves it in. Now Schumacher battling there behind the puck. Nice check by the Schumacher against Lewis. Clark now in the far corner, patiently waiting. Takes a shot, 30 seconds to go in the power play. John Zach will send it the length of the ice with six minutes to play, 20 seconds in the power play. Settled down for DeMoss. DeMoss comes back the other way. He'll try to set up this power play. Good shot. Deflected off an eagle and wide of the net. Donzi has it knocked away by Jug. Jug battling there. Now swings it back around. Great play by the senior captain. DeMoss now tries to center it. Smith in the corner. Even strength now, both teams. Sent back behind the net, and Jug looks up, gets it to Carey. Carey banks it off the wall, and it does come out. As Colquitt, Quinn Colquitt tried to keep it in. Now he does get it deep with 5.20 to go. You feel a sense of urgency now by Penn. A little more action. Brandenberger has it go off his stick. Colquitt tries to keep it in. Molinero battling there right in front, and they get it out. 
two or three really big saves from Jackson Herbal on that on that power play for that for Penn. Back the other way is Cranenberg. He gets it in. Now gets it deep. Goes behind the Eagle net. Smith was there waiting, but Willington sweeps it to the far side. Glove down by Willington, tries to get it out, and now Carey does. Noah Favre with good speed tries to run it down. Penn is able to get there first. Third guy's got to stay high. Jug with the puck, taken away now by O'Donnell. Smith sends it deep off of O'Donnell. Luke Kirkpatrick swings it to the far boards. It gets out. Gathered there by Henry Gillen. Over to Limberopoulos. Limberopoulos skates it in. But Jug is there to defend him. Ethan Cox bounces it off the wall. Kept in by Gillen. And now a whistle blows. This is probably the fifth time in the game where the whistle's blown, and I haven't known why. I think it hit somebody on the bench. Okay. Yeah, Zion's one's got to be careful here. They want to still put pressure, but they got to keep that third forward high when they're pressuring because we're getting down to four minutes to go here. So, got to – can't let any on-man rushes. Not even three on twos happen at this point in the hockey game. Ethan Cox out there with Krug and Matteo. Shoots it down, bounces off a player and into the corner. Ethan Cox comes out to defend. Knocked away by Matteo. Good shot by Trevor. Whole stick save Herbold. Battling down there is Shramsky. Ethan Cox sends it to the far boards, and it looked like it came out, but they said it was in. Oh, no, they did call it out. Shramsky now will run it down. Kirkpatrick with the puck. Tries to gain the red line and sends it into the pen bench with 3.33 to go. There's been no score here in the third period. The Eagles... Got the go-ahead goal with 18 seconds left to go in the second period, and that's where we find ourselves. Two to one, Donovan and Joe Colquitt face off at the center of the ice. John Zach sends it up to McClure. McClure tries to get it deep, but it's knocked. Now Donovan will shoot it off Molinero. Or, I'm sorry, McClure drifts off of his stick, and back comes Joe Colquitt for Penn. Tries to get around, takes a shot, and they're going to call interference. I think they felt and now a battle here as Donzi stepped in to defend his teammate. It was just a check, but I think they felt like the puck was away long enough where John Zach's going to be called for the interference. We'll see if Donzi negated the power play. I don't think he did. Joe Colquitt drew the penalty. And that's a big blow. Donzi is going to go to the box for coming in after the fact, and that may have negated the power play. We'll see what John Zach gets. So with 3.15 to go, we'll have it sorted out. And they're gonna say five on five, a big break for the Eagles, as Joe Colquitt got the interference call from John Zach, but Colton Donzi negated the penalty by coming in and defending his uh, his player. Ever since that power play for Penn, they've had the momentum here these last few minutes. So, um, yeah, big three minutes left here. Rex Willington up to Molinero on the half wall. He looks up, finds Donovan. Donovan will enter the zone. He takes his shot, pad save, rebound opportunity. McClurg was a little bit late getting there. And now Rex Willington keeps it in. Run down by LaWare, under three minutes to play. Five on five hockey, two men are in the box, one for each team. Rex Willington gets it out, but this will be icing. So with 244, it'll come back down. And they'll get some fresh legs out there for the Eagles. It'll be Noah Farb's line along with Charlie Farb and Quinn Carey. Mocker and Jug out there on defense. 2.44 left to play. Kingsman looking for the equalizer. Zionsville leads it 2-1. Stepped in, Charlie Farb does on the faceoff and is able to get it out. Trevor Hall goes over to Basil, and now Schumacher's there. At the feet of it, Quinn Carey will bank it off the wall, but this will be an icing. 
I think time's the least to be careful about just icing the puck here. There's still plenty of time. 2.30 to go. They don't need to play on their heels just yet. Seem to be a little anxious. Yeah, to they have more hurry. time than they think. They can make a play here. Speaking, some time. speaking of anxious, wait till they pull the goalie and you'll see us get really anxious. Yeah. We've seen that a lot this year. Farb will face off for the Eagles against Amico. Kept in by Basil. Now off of Perry. Nice play by Quinn Carey. Back the other way comes Noah Farb. He toe drags, goes around, takes it behind the net, and goes back over to Schumacher at the half wall. Schumacher takes a shot wide of the net. Quinn Carey cuts him off. Here comes Penn. Back the other way is Amico. Tries to go around Jug. Jug keeps him to the outside and makes him go around the net. I like seeing five jerseys back there when they're entering. Backhand opportunity knocked down by the Eagles. Now in front off of a skate and Jug clears it. Go, Charlie, go, Charlie. Charlie Farb runs it down. He's got the puck. He takes a shot oh. off the glove of Shoemaker. Kept in. Farb again. Charlie, nice hustle on this shift. Back the other way. That was a great shot by Charlie. Trevor Hole gets it deep. Icing is waved off. 1.30 to play. Shoemaker still in the net for Penn. Stay low, Forge. Colquitt takes a shot. He was looking for DeMoss. Noah Farb will bank it off the wall and out. LaWare will play it in the neutral zone. Over to Quinn Colquitt. One twelve to go in the game. Back to Smith. Smith takes a shot from McClurg, and they're going to call a penalty. That was... Wow. 102 to go, and I'm not sure. He blocked that shot with his skate. Look to me. I'm not I sure this is necessarily bad news. We're good at the penalty kill, and this allows us to clear the puck without it being an icing. That is true. You hate to go down five on four, but I'm not sure this will work too badly to our advantage, our disadvantage. There's one strategy now, and that's just send the puck as far as you can, get in front of every shot. I mean, this is this is where you put everything on the line. So time certainly not an ally for Penn. They have only got one minute and two seconds to tie this game. They will have an extra man out there, and we'll see if Shoemaker comes out and gives them six on four. Yeah, like you were saying, it does make a pretty big difference to be able to ice the puck, and that wastes a lot of time eating that up. It takes a good ten seconds if they have a clean entry, opposed to an icing call and an offensive zone faceoff every time. So. It's not horrible news, but they really got to lock in and stay tight in their um, PK box. They have to have those four guys, um, you know, not too deep, but definitely not letting anything inside that box with that extra guy out there. Craig Brown called the timeout for uh, Penn. What do you think Ben Highsmith was telling his players? Um, get in front of every shot. Don't let anybody inside that box. And, yeah, you have to have a strong stick, too. Have to get everything out. And put everything on the line. Be willing to block that shot, even if it's going to hurt. DeMoss and Donovan will face off. One minute and two seconds to go. The two-minute minor on Kane McClurg causes Noah Farb to come out. He's usually out there. McClurg's usually out there with Donovan. This time it's Noah Farb and Silas Donovan. Face off won by Donovan and cleared by Cairo Jug. No, 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 no. <laughs> and the crowd... The linesman mistakenly blew the whistle, and this will, unfortunately for Penn, cause Shoemaker to come back out. I don't know if that's right. I feel like that should be a center ice face off, even though, because that hurts Penn quite a bit. Yeah, it does. Even it though, does. That almost worked to our advantage that the yeah. linesman accidentally blew the whistle, because that caused Shoemaker to I come back so. out. I think so. I thought that was going to be a center ice. But... Went one forward, and Farb got a good shot, deflected off the goalie and into the netting above the glass. 55 seconds to go. Donovan facing off against Lewis. And again, Shoemaker had to come back in. Donovan just kicks it forward. 52 seconds to go. Eagles trying to hang on to a 2-1 lead. Clark with the puck. Here comes Shoemaker. Now it's going to be 6-on-4. Clark comes and he sends it towards the net. And this is off the stick of John Zach and into the netting with 40 seconds to go. Eagles lead it 2-1, to one, trying to hang on here. They're short-handed for the rest of this one. Hopefully we can get a good face-off again like last time, get a quick clear. Face-offs are crucial at this point in the game with 40 seconds in the goalie pull. Oh, 
Face off one by Pin. Nice Colquitt shoots, block. and Noah Farr was a big block. Colquitt will have that. to go back and get it. Over to Loware. Loware off the stick of Clark. 30 seconds to go. Here's Clark. Skates it in. Inside the blue line. Skating around, going over to Loware. Loware shoots, breaks the stick of Jug, but what a block! Run down, good hustle by Loware to get it back. Coming back the other way. Jug out there knocking it with his skate. What a play good by penalty, Cairo dude. Jug. He came back without a stick, kicked it away, and drew a penalty. Yeah, that was a play of the game right there. That was huge. Especially the two forwards were up a little bit higher than what they would like to. And they had some guys right in the front of the net, too. That block shot was crucial. Cairo Jug had his stick break on the block, which actually cleared the blue line. Loware with a great hustle came back into the zone. And who was back checking but Cairo Jug without a stick kicked it away and drew the penalty. And with 12 seconds to go, we've got four on four hockey. Face off taking place deep in the pin zone. Face off, back to John Zach. Here's DeMoss back the other way. Who else but Cairo Jug back there to negate it. Trying to eat it up against the wall. Battling. In front! And what an opportunity. They got a last second chance in between the circles. But time runs out and the Eagles are gonna move on tomorrow in the winner's bracket. Penn will still be in this. They'll drop down to the loser's bracket and play in the morning. Eagles will wait for their opponent between Carroll and Southwest Michigan. The Eagles beat the Penn Kingsman two to one, getting goals from Alec Molinaro in the first period from Kane McClurg, and the game winner in the second period, late in the second period, Silas Donovan from John Zach. Penn got a goal from Colton Donzi 33 seconds into this one and weren't able to get one past Jackson Herbold after that. Both goals, goalies were good. The winning goalie, Jackson Herbold, improving to 29 and seven on the year and a good first win for the Eagles. Yeah, Jackson Herbold was huge in that third period, especially that first power play that Pitt had, making two or three massive saves right on the doorstep. So he's been good. He was good tonight just as he has been the whole season. Good job by the boys to close that game out. Well, always good to get that first win under your belt, get the nerves shaken off a little bit. The Eagles will play the winner of Carroll and Southwest Michigan tomorrow, I believe at 1.15. We'll bring you that broadcast for Steve Jug and Robbie Donovan. I'm Ryan Donovan signing off from the Icebox in South Bend. The Eagles victorious 2-1 over Penn. Good night, everybody.